Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter number 4, and let's look at verse 16 and verse 17 as our text verses of Scripture. Now notice what the Scripture says here. At my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray, God, that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. And friends, I pray that God would certainly add his great blessings to the reading of that precious word today. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Praise God, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee. And a fresh word from God. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, When Others Fail Us. You know, beloved, in times of trouble, why are we sometimes forsaken by those we trust? Why don't our loved ones stand by us? There are many reasons that other fa others fail us, of course. They underestimate how the simple loving support and prayers of a close companion can encourage the soul. However, even when it seems like everyone's walked out, beloved, you are never truly alone. Abandoned by his friends, the Apostle Paul was left to face his final court trial by himself, but the Lord took the opportunity to bless Paul with an even more powerful and profound experience of his presence. My friend, the same is true for us. God offers us peace and support just as he did the Apostle Paul. Even if all others leave, my friend, God remains faithful. Your Savior will never abandon you. So when you feel forsaken, draw near to him and find the strength, the comfort, and the friendship you need to make it through. And remember, in his presence, you are never alone. Think about this, and now let's pray together. Lord God, thank you for your peace. The peace I have in knowing that you will never leave, nor will you ever forsake me. And I praise you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 
Well, friends, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. Certainly touched the old pastor's heart. And if it has, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. God bless you and have a wonderful day.